Mike Brenna, good morning. Yeah, the pandemic really hit women hard this year. A lot of them had to leave their jobs and stay home to take care of their kids. But as life is slowly returning to normal, a nonprofit called Dress for Success is helping those women re-enter the workforce. Blouses, short sleeve, long sleeve. Dress for Success is a nonprofit providing women with new clothes, purses, and jewelry. We try to make sure that every woman that comes here has that kind of Cinderella moment when they put on their clothes and see themselves in the mirror for the first time, and they're just like, wow, this is so cool. Executive Director Elaine McNeary says making those moments happen are crucial right now during the pandemic. No schools being closed, uh, no child care, so we know that women are really struggling and, and getting back to work is going to be very difficult. As the world slowly reopens, the goal is to help women re-enter the workforce. It's been a very bad year, everybody knows that. Uh, so for me, it's, it's really important that we start to get women out there, start to decrease the fear, get people vaccinated, get them back to work. And it's not just about the clothes. We do uh, resume ass assistance. We help women look for jobs online. We prep them for their interview. Elaine says Dress for Success has a trickle down effect. If you empower a woman, you empower her family, she empowers the community, and it just goes from there. And in her own opinion, giving women confidence is the best part. Seeing the light go on in people's eyes, seeing them understand that they look just like everybody else, they can talk just like everybody else, that they are worthy and confident and able to do things in our community. COVID-19 has impacted every aspect of our lives, including nonprofits. Elaine says it's been tough, but she's excited to move forward. You know, we're not doing everything exactly like we used to do it. We're going to build it back up bigger and better. And Elaine says without the community's donations, none of this would be possible. We wouldn't be here without them and we wouldn't be supporting the 3,000 women that we've seen without the support of Bakersfield.